people, I'm back um, for another f live stream, basically. I'm um, going to be continuing with yesterday, yeah. Uh, probably going to meet my mic through a lot of this, yada yada. See you. Gosh, I accidentally shot a guy. I pulled out my gun and shot him. That's blocked off. I actually saw, shot that woman accidentally. I was literally trying to pull out my map and I shot her. They took away a hundred and forty something. You're crazy. Now I got a bounty for ten dollars. All that matters right now is saving Jack. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead. But I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him. I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. Hey, can America's I get a drink, dirty here? little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, well, over here. I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I'll now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. 
for a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big? He makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits! Get going! He's coming after yeah, us! Yeah. You better stop right now! Super fast, so I'm gonna use the bitters. You get that back. Come on. shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. 
You know, I kind of miss old Bob's head. I don't. Bounce around so much. Couldn't even read the newspaper. Remember when they had to bring the mules back? Come on! Keep up! Hey! Now where do you go? I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when? Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh yeah, he ran right through us. Ran around the corner there. Shoot him. What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. <laughs> Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I 
I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of that's reptiles and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Howdy, sellers. Good morning, partner. Oh, no. morning. Sir, can I bother you for a minute of your time? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot. Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess.
Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. Uh. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Let's go, boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, 
We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. in there. This way. Get the hell out of here. Let's keep looking. You hear something? Wait a sec. Stop. Sorry, uh, I had a bit to drink. Her friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'll try this way. are trying to draw us out. Can't see worth a damn. We sure picked the right night for it. Please, so go.
hardly see what I'm shooting at. It moves, blast it. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go, and I'll have the drink. I think that's all of them. All right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Like I said, Let's look around where they jumped us. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it! Come on. Let's go around the side. Come on. I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Stay close. Get back to Dutch. Oh! Looks like we lost them for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Come on, Arthur. Took your time. Jack, 
Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, all right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me. In your pod, Dale Willem. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Got you, your son. Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? Thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... 
I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. You okay, Pierce? Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward, dear boy. I hope so. If you say so. An unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, Arthur, have a little faith. Did I ever tell you boys about the time I was hanging? I think so. Here you are. Eat up. Thank you. Long before I met Dutch. Feel like I can breathe again. Huh, no. Thank you, John. I'm sorry, but I was just worried, sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Only okay, some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Was you scared? Absolutely petrified. 
Stopping you, Karen. You oh. better believe it. Let's leave him play. Just save some Where for the rest of us. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit yourself, then. Hi, Javier. Hey there. Hi, Uncle. Pulling all about the sheets, but but two about the sheets. Started as a thieving line in 1849. Opposition they defy, so people must be gone or die. The crowd in here was smelly, man. It's fattening all over. What am I, a child, to be talked to like that? Miss 
Just a plug tobacco smoke. We are compelled. We dress as in tobacco spit. <laughs> but talk on politics and swear. There's a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy, so the people must root all go die. I'm sure you do. You see everything differently. Leave me alone. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. See? See? What I tell you? Listen. Next time. Well, I should get back to it. Whatever you say. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yeah, she seems pretty worked up. <laughs> <laughs> 